Good day everyone, today I will be discussing to you the Pythagorean Theorem. So let's say a theorem states that in a right triangle, the square of the length of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the lengths. So let's say we have our triangle, right triangle. I will name it A, B, C. Okay. Triangle A, B, C. So we have our 90 degrees here. So the opposite of 90 degree angle is the hypotenuse. It is our hypotenuse. And this is our leg and the other leg. Okay. Now, opposite of angle a is our side BC or let us name it side A, small letter A. Opposite of angle B is side B, small letter B. And opposite of angle C is small letter C. Okay. Or we can rumble that if we want to name it A, B, C. That would be okay. So our side will become small letter C will be the hypotenuse. Then B will be the one, one leg and the other that is A. Now following our theorem, the length of the hypotenuse, so C, or the square of the length, so we need to square, C square is equal to the square of the length of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the lengths. So a squared plus B squared. This will be our formula. So C is the hypotenuse. Squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. If we want to get A, so we have A squared is equal to C squared minus B squared. And if you want to get B, so B squared is equal to C squared minus A squared. That is the same as extract the square root. So extract the square root to get A. So in this case, A is equal to square root of C squared minus B squared. The same case here, extract the square root. B is equal to square root of c squared minus a squared and also in this case that is c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared okay these are the different formulas that we're going to use in this Pythagorean theorem to apply the theorem let's have exercises and examples to apply our theorem let's have these exercises Find the length of the indicated side of the right triangle. So we have our right triangle and the sides A, B, and C. C is our hypotenuse. For number one, if A is equal to three, if B is equal to four, find the value of C or the length of C. Now, C is our hypotenuse, so we're going to use the formula C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So extract the square root, that will become c is equal to square root of a squared plus b squared. Now, c is equal to square root of our a is 3 plus our b is 4. So that's square. c is equal to 3 squared, that is 3 times 3, 9, plus 4 squared. That is 4 times 4, 16. C squared is equal to square root of 9 plus 16, 25. So the value of C is square root of 25, 5. Okay. Next, number 2. B is equal to 12, C is equal to 13, A is unknown. So... We have the formula, a squared is equal to c squared minus b squared. Now, extract the square root, that will become a is equal to square root of c squared minus b squared. 
Now, A is equal to square root of 13 square. Oh, C is 13, so we have 13 square minus B is 12, 12 square. So A is equal to 13 square, that is 13 times 13, 169 minus 12 square, that is 144, 12 times 12. So A is equal to the square root of subtract, we have 25. So A is equal to 5. And number 3, A is equal to 5 over 2. Well, don't be afraid of fractions. C is equal to 5 square root of 3 over 2, and we're looking for B. Now the formula is B squared is equal to C squared minus A squared. That is square root. That will give us B is equal to the square root of C squared minus A squared. Now, substitute our given. So the square root of C is 5 square root of 3 over 2. Force me to square that. Minus A is... 5 over 2 into square. Now we have 5 square, that is 25, times, if we go into square, square root of 3, that will be cancelled out, 3 will remain, over 2 square, that is 4, minus 5 square, that is 25, over 2 square, that is 4. Now we have the square root of, we have 25 times 3, that is 75 over 4 minus 25 over 4, 25 over 4. We have the same denominator, so just copy the denominator, which is 4, then 75 minus 25, that is, 50. Okay. Now we can reduce into lowest term. That is 25 over 2. Okay, 25 is a perfect square number. So we have we have now 5 square root of 1 half. Since we don't have, or that is 5 over square root of 2. 5 over square root of 2. We need to conjugate because this is not yet in simplest form. So we need to multiply by square root of 2 over square root of 2. Square root of 2. Now we have 5 square root of 2 over 2. That would be the length of our B. 5 square root of 2 over 2. Okay, this is your lesson in your second quarter. Rationalizing denominator. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.